I have no in that by firm, a care and mini with their cameras on. Who else is going to turn on their camera? Awesome. Let me just pause. Napoon. There we go. That's your name. Love. Napoon. There we are. Okie dokie. Thank you all for having your camera on. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Oops. I don't want to do that. I wanted to go to this. Okay. Hello, Tisha. Hello. Hello, hello, how are you? Sabadi Maika, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Good, I'm glad you are fine. All right, so I have a little slideshow of videos for us. We're going to be going over our adjectives, okay? So our first video is just adjectives. We're not comparing anything we're just talking about adjectives, okay? ESL library. Adjectives. What are adjectives? Hmm. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Adjectives can tell us information about a noun, such as the size and color. Adjectives can also tell us someone's opinion about a noun or describe how someone is feeling. For example, big cookie, yellow flowers, beautiful sunset. Hungry dogs. There are two common sentence patterns for adjectives in English. The first pattern is adjective plus noun. For example, in the sentence, I have a red car, the adjective red comes before the noun car. Red describes car. The second pattern is B plus adjective. 
In this pattern, the adjective follows the be verb and describes the subject noun in the sentence. For example, in the sentence, the student is tired. The adjective tired follows the verb is. Tired describes a student. Let's look at some more examples of adjectives in a sentence. I see a small mouse. That is an expensive car. The children are happy. The pasta is delicious. They live in a big blue house. My new boots are tall and red. Look at the picture and unscramble the words to make a sentence. Say or write the sentence. For example, the apple is red. Now you try. Okay, how are we going to say this sentence correctly? We'll start with the cats. And we're going to say that the cats are. How are we going to describe the cats? The cats are hungry. hungry. Very good. The cats are hungry. Let's watch them fix it. Perfect job, guys. The cats are hungry. What about this one? We'll start with we. We'll say we live in a, what kind of house? We live in a? Small house. Small house, very good. I think that was Tong Paul. Nice work. We live in a small house. Very good. All right, let's see. They have, what kind of car do they have? They have an? I can see. I can see. Very good. Ah. Expensive car, yes. Nice work. You'll notice that we capitalize the first letter of the sentence. Hmm. The cookie is what? How are we going to describe the cookie? Delicious. Delicious. Nice work. I love that pronunciation. I delicious. Perfect. The cookie is delicious. Okay, so this one is, I see a sunset. What kind of sunset do we see? Beautiful, beautiful. A beautiful sunset, nice work. I see a beautiful sunset. Thanks for watching. Awesome. That was a really quick review. Next. So now we're going to go over our comparative adjectives, okay? ESL library. Comparative adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe nouns. What are adjectives? What, what do adjectives do? Adjectives describe nouns. They describe things. Adjectives can give us information such as the size or age of a noun. 
Adjectives can also tell us someone's opinion about a noun or describe how someone is feeling. Okay, so adjectives describe nouns. They give information, they tell us someone's opinion, or they tell us how someone is feeling, okay? We use comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. Comparative adjectives tell us how one noun is different from the other. For example, she is taller than him. This painting is more beautiful than that painting. My brother looks happier than my sister. <laughs> how are comparative adjectives formed in English? It depends on how many syllables the adjective has. For one syllable adjectives, we add ER to the adjective. For example, short becomes shorter. If the adjective ends in a consonant vowel consonant pattern, we double the final consonant before adding ER. For example, big becomes bigger. For two syllable adjectives that end in Y, we change Y to I and add ER. For example, hungry becomes hungrier and noisy becomes noisier. Okay, so we worked on that in unit five, adding ER or changing the Y to an I and adding ER, right? And so now we're working on putting more before. For adjectives that are two syllables or more, we use the word more before the adjective. For example, modern becomes more modern and expensive becomes more expensive. Some comparative adjectives in English don't follow the usual rules. For example, the adjective good becomes better in the comparative form. Bad becomes worse and far becomes farther or further. The most common sentence pattern for comparative adjectives in English is subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus object. Let's look at some examples of comparative adjectives in a sentence. The blue house is bigger than the yellow house. Rock music is better than classical music. My dog is lazier than my cat. The singer is more famous than the actor. My boots are more expensive than your shoes. Look at the adjective. Say or write the comparative adjective. For example, tall, taller. All right, now it's our turn. Now you try. All right, we have careful. We're going to do what with careful? Careful is a two syllable word. Careful. What are we gonna put before careful? Are we gonna put more before or are we gonna put ER at the end? More careful. More careful. Nice work, Tan Pong. More careful. This is one of our irregular ones. Good becomes. We're not going to put more before and we're not going to add ER. We're going to change the whole word. What does good become? Better. Very good, Tom Bomb. Better. Better. Very good. 
Noisy because Noisier. Noisier. Nice job. I remember that from unit five. Noisier. Change the Y to an I and add ER. One of our newer oh, more dangerous. Very good. Ooh, dangerous. More dangerous. Okay. Another one of our irregular. Bad. We're not going to put more before and we're not going to add ER. What do we change bad to? Yes. Say that again. Worse. Worse. Very good, Tan Pong. Worse. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. All right, so now we're going to go over them again, okay? It's just more practice with sentences, okay? Hello, welcome to Help. Helpful English Learning Place, the channel for all your English learning needs. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Today's video, comparative adjectives. Big, bigger than. Bob is old. Tom is older than Bob. Let's say that. Bob is old. Tukun putam chan. Repeat after me. Bob is old. Bob is old. old. Very good. Tom is older than Bob. Tom is older than Bob. Very good. See how we put ER at the end and we add van. Old, older than. Young. Jane is young. Tim is younger than Jane. Jane is young. Jane is, is, young. is young. Very good. Tim is younger than Jane. Tim is, Tim is younger than Jane. Very good, guys. Younger than. Young. Younger than. Slow. The tortoise is slow. The snail is slower than the tortoise. The tortoise is slow. The turtle is slow. Nice job. It's not a turtle, it's a tortoise, but they're very similar. A turtle lives in the water and a tortoise lives on land. So the tortoise is slow. The snail is slower than the tortoise. The snail is slower than the tortoise. Very good. I love that. You guys are awesome. Slow, slower than. Fast. Lee is fast. Carl is faster than Lee. Fast, faster than. All right, Lee is fast. Lee, Lee is, is fast. fast. 
Very good. Carl is faster than Lee. Oh, Eid Bada is Lee. Awesome job, guys. Fast, faster than. Tall. An ostrich is tall. An elephant is taller than an ostrich. An ostrich is tall. An ostrich, an ostrich is tall. Very good. An elephant is taller than an ostrich. And it is an elephant is taller than an ostrich. Very good, friend. Tall, taller than. Long. The lizard is long. The snake is longer than the lizard. The lizard is long. The lizard is long. The snake is longer than the lizard. The snake. The snake is longer than the lizard. Very good. Long. You guys are adjective longer wizards. Than. Short. Face her is short. Emma's her is shorter than face her. Faye's hair is short. Faye's hair is short. Emma's hair is shorter than Faye's hair. Emma's hair is shorter than Faye's hair. Nice work. Short, shorter than. Brad is strong. Max is stronger than Brad. Brad is strong. Brad is strong. Is strong. Max is stronger than Brad. Max is stronger than Brad. Yes. No, I don't want to do that. I want to go here. Oh no. Let me get this back to where we were. Well, I can't make it big. I don't know why. Heavy. No. I'm so sorry, guys. Unlimited. English no, classes. We're going to go back and we're going to open it up. Hello. All right, I don't know. Heavy. The box is heavy. The weights are heavier than the box. The box is heavy. The box is heavy. The weights are heavier than the box. The weights are heavier than the box. It are heavier than the box. Nice. Heavy, heavier than. Thanks for watching. There we go.
So now we're going to watch this video about as as, which is what we just started learning about. As as. Unlimited English classes. It won't let me make it big. I the Acquire English Club. Go to aenglish.club. Talk to you soon. Hmm. Acquire Grammar. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at how to use as, as, or comparisons. Let's look at this example. The Eiffel Tower is tall. It is taller than the Statue of Liberty. However, it is not as tall as the Burj Khalifa. Here's another example. This house is expensive. It is more expensive than this car. However, it is not as expensive as this jet. Now you try. See if you can come up with the answer. Ben is tall. Bryce is taller. What are we going to say? Ben isn't as tall as Bryce. He isn't as tall as Bryce. Ben isn't as tall as Bryce. He is not as tall as Bryce. Donald has a lot of money. Jeff has more money. Donald doesn't have as much money as Jeff. We say as much money because we're talking about the amount. Donald doesn't have as much money as Jeff. Donald doesn't have as much money as Jeff. There were many people on the train yesterday. Today, there are fewer people. So we're going to say there are not as many people on the train today as there were yesterday. There are not as many people on the train today as yesterday. There are not as many people on the train today as yesterday. We use as as to say two things are the same. Jesse is 160 centimeters tall. Janine is also 160 centimeters tall. So we say Janine is as tall as Jesse. They are the same, okay? Janine is as tall as Jesse. They are the same. The train was crowded yesterday. It is equally crowded today. So we can say, the train is as crowded today as yesterday. See, they're the same. Before in the video, there were not as many people on the train. But now look, they're the same. The train is as crowded today as yesterday. They are the same. Another way we use as, as is twice as, three times as, four times as, etc.
The red shoes are three times as expensive as the pink ones. Because 50 times three is 150, right? So the red shoes are three times as expensive as the pink ones. They're not the same. The red shoes are three times as expensive as the pink ones. Tim's grandpa is 10 times as old as Tim. Because nine times 10 is 90. They're not the same age. Tim's grandpa is 10 times as old as Tim. Time for a little okay, quiz. Okay, it's quiz time. See if you can come up with the as as sentence. All right, so we have yesterday and today. Yesterday was 29 degrees Celsius and today is 22 degrees Celsius. So today isn't as hot as yesterday. Today isn't as hot as yesterday. not hot and they're gonna make a sentence for us today isn't today isn't as hot as yesterday they're not equal today isn't as hot as yesterday all right so let's try with the twice Twice means two times. Two times, we say twice. So the groom is twice as old as the bride. The groom is twice as the old as- The groom is twice as old as the bride. Of Pete's family and Greg's family, okay? Pete's family, he only has one child. Greg's family, they have four children. Pete's, Pete's family, or Pete, doesn't have as many children as Greg. He doesn't have as many children as Greg. Pete doesn't have as many children as Greg. They're not equal. Pete doesn't have as many children as Greg. So taking a bus is not as fast as taking a taxi. Taking a bus is not as fast as taking a taxi. Taking a bus isn't as fast as taking a taxi. Try making a sentence using as, as, and leave it in the comments below. No, we don't need to do that. Do you want to practice? Yes, we want to practice our English. So now we're going. Unlimited to English classes. Go and play a game. We've played this game before. And we're gonna play it again today, okay?
I don't know why it won't make it full screen. Unavailable. Okay. I don't know why. Let's see if anyone remembers these answers from last time. Bigger. Which is bigger? The whale or the fish? How are we going to say this sentence? The whale is bigger than, bigger than the clownfish. Very good. Which is shorter? The house is shorter than shorter than shorter than. Work shorter than the building. Which one is longer? Let's see. The longer snake than, is longer than, longer than, longer than the rabbit. Nice work. Let's see which one is more beautiful. The butterfly is more beautiful than more beautiful than right we're not going to say beautifuler because it's beautiful we have three syllables so we're going to put that more before more beautiful than The eagle is faster than, Very good. Faster than the snail. is taller. Let's see. The ostrich is taller than. Taller than. Taller than. Very good. Taller than the hummingbird. Nice work. is more expensive.
the mansion. Oh, it will keep that. More expensive than. Awesome, because expensive is a three syllable word. Expensive. The mansion is more expensive than the house. Very good. is older. The red car is older than. Older than. Older than. Very good. Older than the black car. As old as just one syllable. Which is hotter? The fire is Hotter than. Hotter than. Very good. Hotter than the snow. Nice. You guys are so amazing. Which is younger? Let's see. Hmm. Elephant on the left. Younger than. Younger than. Younger than the elephant on the right. Nice work. Very good. Yay. I'm going to go on to number seven. Okay. So now we can finish our picture talk. Did everyone finish this page? Let me stop the share and let me reshare on a closer version. Does everyone go to picture talk? It looks like this. Okay, pull out your worksheets. We're gonna do our picture talk. Okay, so we have a couple of animals. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten animals. Ten animals. And we have one, two, three, four, five adjectives. What's our first adjective? What's this adjective right here? What's this adjective? This adjective is unusual. What's this adjective? Unusual. Unusual, nice job. What is this adjective? Colorful. 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 What about this adjective? Powerful. Powerful. This adjective? Dangerous. 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 And this adjective? Talented. Talented. Very good. Okay, so we're going to put all of the animals into their category. They already give us the first one. They put lizard in the unusual category. Let's look at the lizard. The lizard is right here. Ooh, that is a very unusual animal. Do you see his big neck that comes out? It's very unusual. All right. 
what other animal looks unusual? Does any other animal look to be unusual? Hmm. We have a dolphin, a hippo, a sloth, and a horse, a crocodile, a dog, a butterfly, a frog, a lizard, and a snake. Which one do you think is unusual? A lot. A sloth. I agree. I think a sloth is very unusual because they move so slow and they have three big toes. They hang upside down. So unusual. Nice work. We have two animals in our unusual category. We have which two animals are unusual. Which two animals are unusual? These two right here. Which two animals are unusual? A lizard and a sloth. Which two animals are unusual? a lizard and a sloth. All right, let's go to colorful, colorful. Let's see, our picture is black and white, but we can see the different shades. Which two animals look to be the most colorful? Butterfly. A butterfly. I agree, look at all those different colors. You can tell that it's definitely different colors. So we're gonna put butterfly in colorful. Butterfly, nice job. What other animal seems to be colorful? We did the lizard was unusual, the sloth was unusual, the butterfly is colorful. Frog. The frog, yes, the frog seems to have many colors as well. Very good. So we're going to put frog in colorful. Which two animals are colorful? Butterfly and frog. Which two animals are colorful? Butterfly and frog. Nice work. All right, let's go to powerful. All right. A lot of these animals are powerful. Which animals do you think are powerful? Hippo. Hippos, nice, we have it right here. They say hippos are more powerful than dogs. Yes, sir, Tom Pom, we're gonna put Hippo in powerful. What other animal are we gonna put in powerful? What other animal looks powerful? Horse. A horse, very good. A crocodile also seems powerful, but I think that one might go in a different category, right? So we're gonna put horse in powerful. Which two animals are powerful? A hippo and a horse. Which two animals are powerful? A hippo and a horse. Yes, I, very good. All right, we're almost done. We need two animals for the dangerous category. Which animals are dangerous? Snake. Definitely a snake. It says it right here. Snakes are more dangerous than frogs. Very good. So we're going to put a snake there in dangerous. Okay. And what other animal is dangerous? Crocodile. Oh, yes. A crocodile is so dangerous. I don't ever want to meet a crocodile face to face. Crocodile. So which two animals are dangerous? 
a snake and crocodile. Yes, Don Palm, a snake and a crocodile. And the last two are talented. Let's see which animals are talented. Which ones don't have a check mark next to them yet? A dolphin. A dolphin. Look at that dolphin jump in the air. So talented. Nice work, I. We're going to put dolphin. Oops, no S. Just with a D. Dolphin. And what other animal looks to be really talented? Dog. Oh. The dog. The dog is jumping through the hoop. Looks so talented. Very good. The dog. So which animals are talented? A dolphin and dog. Very good. A dolphin and a dog. Nice job, Minnie. I'd love to hear everyone participating. Yay! Nice work. So we actually did all of the animals. Nice work. Beautiful. Okay, friends, your homework, your homework is to read the happy reader and answer the questions, okay? So let me put that in our chat. Homework, read the happy reader and answer the question. This is page 36 and 37, okay? So you're gonna read the happy reader. It's called A Walk on a Wire. I want you to read the happy reader and then answer the questions at the bottom. It says, check all of the true statements, okay? So your homework is to read the happy reader. What's your homework? To read the happy reader, okay? That is your homework. All right, friends, that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow. And we can go over our happy reader tomorrow. Okay, friends, let's sing our thank you song and then we'll be done. Thank you, thank you. I really want to thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. much. Kavkunka, Sawadika. Jargon. See you 